Folks, I'm going to show another way to do a, um, um, a quick selection using the quick selection tool. I'd be amiss if I didn't talk about it, which, that, which is such a great little fast content aware tool. So for this one, I'm going to uh, move over to PC for a minute for my PC friends. I'll say File, Open, and I'm going to use this tuner that I selected here. I actually shot this a little while ago. It's not in perfect uh, focus. My bad on that. <laughs> At any rate, I'll show you maybe how you might quickly select this using... Uh, yeah, yeah, this one's not going to work so well because there are variations of color. It's not a real clear delineated color here for the isolation process. So the magic wand's not going to work as good as probably the quick selection tool. So I've got a quick, quick selection tool. And you see here I've got it set to 64 pixels. I don't know. You can change. You can experiment with this what you think is better. Uh, usually I try to go fairly high with it. Uh, you know, if I've got a very high res image, it just seems to work better. So I'm going to try to select this just by clicking inside and kind of showing it by going across it here what bits I want. And you see, you can see here right quickly, you can just go around the whole thing. I could use a bigger brush, see, and I could get more of that faster. And you can, you can scrub across these things right quick. And you see, I'm getting some shadow down there that I really don't care to get. And so we might have to go back and do that a different way. But the, I just want you to see kind of how this, this tool to me is pretty darn great. I'm going to go ahead and get those, those words up. I can see this is not, it didn't get that. You can see it'll, it'll, it'll put little uh, lines around the parts that you didn't get, right? So that looks pretty good. Now, there's some tools you can go up here when you click on Refine Edge that I like a lot. You can go in here and play around with these things. So you can see sort of what you're going to get. Now, this is not super accurate real you know if you're going to see them seen there, there i'm going to show you a better way later to do this but there is a good way to clean this up and i'll show you just in a moment but you can start playing with some things here to smooth the effect and it should let you feather a little bit here make it a little softer see that contrast we can change our radius a little bit if we want to there's various things you can try to get this to work and sometimes it works just smashingly awesome I didn't want to not show you this because I'm going to show you how to do it with the, the pen tool here. That's what I typically send, end up doing, but that's not bad. So I'm going to say OK, and, and that's that's not terrible. If I were in a hurry to get something isolated, so let's do a Control C and a Control V. Control V is to paste. So now you see what I did. I, I copied what I had selected, and there it is. I'm going to go ahead and throw this background away. And that's what we have. We've got a bit of shadow and raggedness down here. Maybe we take the uh, the eraser tool here, and I'm going to click on this eraser tool. I said I've got 21 pixels. I might need a little more than that. I don't know. That's pretty. Yeah, let's get, let's get about 30, 30 or 40. What I'm going to do, I'm going to run that along the bottom here just to straighten this out. And what you can do, you can just click there close to the edge, and then you hold your shift key down and go over here to the other side. And it's going to draw a straight line and erase all that. See? Then we'll get this little corner down here, maybe just a little bit. I see a little bit of fringe here. We could go here and hold it and do the same thing. Go down to maybe here. Hold the shift key down and it just wax that off there, right? So right quick, you could see if you were in a, in a pinch and trying to get that done quickly, you could get that done. Let's put a new, uh, I like to always put a, um, let's, do it, well, let's do it this way. Let's do a new layer and pull it underneath that. And let's do edit fill. And we can fill with, we can fill with blacks fine. I've got preserved transparency off, which is what you want. I'll say OK. So there you can see what you've got. I can see we've got a little bit more fringe on top. So you don't see these things until you put a color behind them. So I might do the eraser here. So, oh, Control Z, Control Z. i got to make sure I'm on the right layer. It's always the easiest thing for me to do. I might get rid of a little bit of that fringe too. And there, that gets what I wanted to do. I have the same problem here. So you see, I, I could have gone to some of those controls and, and been a little more uh, careful with the selection. But this, it, 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 there's no substitute for actually really drawing a line around things. So I'm going to show you that in a minute. But this is kind of cool. So you can, you see I've got various styles and things. You can see how it looks. It looks good against a background of some sort. Uh, if you've never used these styles over here to create your backgrounds, I'm going to encourage you just to play around. I mean, if, if you, do you have the styles uh, loaded on yours? If not... I've made tons of custom styles over the years that I use. Some of these came from a, a thing called Wild Styles that I used years ago. And, but I've gone in here and just made, made them my own, as, as the people would say here. 
So anyway, <laughs> it's just craziness. There you go, folks. That's how I might isolate uh, and get rid of the background then on this. And then we can move it around, of course. We can do it and put a title out here to the right or whatever. That's very garish looking, I know. You could put a drop shadow under it, um, like a layer style. I'm on the right layer. I guess I am. We could do a drop shadow or something like that. And then you could uh, you know, set your drop shadow to whichever direction you want to go. Maybe you want to go that way and a distance and a spread and a little bit of size there. And pretty soon you got something that looks kind of nice. And like it might be three dimensional, even though we're slightly out of focus. So there you go, friends. Uh, one thing I should say is how you would save these. Like, you know, let's get rid of this layer here. We don't need it. We're just playing around with that anyway. I'll trash it. We're going to delete that yes. So you've isolated this and you want to use it for the future. Typically, I'm going to get rid of these outside. I don't need all that stuff hanging there. I know there's nothing there. There's, it's not really making anything bigger but uh, because there's nothing in those pixels. But there you go. We could do a file, save, as, or save, and save it as a Photoshop file. Tuner, and we'll say Photoshop, Photoshop, transparent, background. And that's what I do. That's it. Uh, and, and like I say, you can experiment with this. I think it is very cool. It's a content aware tool. Sometimes it works smashingly awesome well. But now let's move on to actually using the pen tool to isolate these things.